Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to add emotions to your AI voice in Eleven Labs and turn it from a flat, monotone robot into a captivating storyteller. So let's get started. So first things first, it is very important to choose the right voice. As you can see from the prompting guide here, it says the voice used plays a pivotal role in the output. And that is because all the voices in Eleven Labs are trained differently. And also this includes your own voice if you clone your voice. For example, if you included a lot of ah and um, when you want to make a break or something, then it might just include these words. So yeah, just choose your voice really wisely. And if you really cannot get the results you want, you may consider changing the voice. So now let's talk about how to add breaks or pauses. You have a few ways to do this. Either you can use dashes, so like a simple dash or M dash like this, or you can use dot dot dot, so ellipsis, I think it's called. But according to the prompting guide, the most efficient and more consistent way to do this is to add this. This is a really simple code that you can add to where you want to add a pause. So let me give you an example. Here we have a phrase here and let's hear it without any code. Okay, give me one second to think about it. I think this is a good idea. Yeah, so we want to add one second here. And so what we do is we just add this code here and let's hear it again. Okay, give me one second to think about it. I think this is a good idea. So you can see now there is a pause here. And now let's use the dash instead. Okay, give me one second to think about it. I think this is a good idea. So this also works, but it really depends on the voice. Sometimes when I use my own voice, it would just utter some really, really weird, like nonsense words. So you might also experience this. And I think this is just depending on how the voice is trained again. All right, now let's talk about emotions. And that is also why you come to this video. So in the prompting guide, you can see that the best way to do this is to write it as if you're writing a book. So like, uh, instead of just writing the dialogues here, are you sure about that? Don't test me. Um, you can add these texts. He said confused, he shouted angrily. So let's try this with and without the text. Are you sure about that? Don't test me. Okay, this is already not bad. And so let's just add the text. Are you sure about that? He said confused. Don't test me, he shouted angrily. Okay, so this works, but the only downside is that it will also read the text. And I hope that Eleven Labs can improve about this. So it only reads the text we want and we can prompt the emotion without it reading the specific emotions, if that makes sense. Okay, I just wanted to test this with my voice. Seriously, you haven't hit subscribe yet? What are you waiting for? An invitation? Okay, this is quite flat and monotone. And now let's hear it with the tag. Seriously, you haven't hit subscribe yet? What are you waiting for? An invitation? Ting said playfully. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, this is already much better. But yeah, the tag is still there. There is also another tip that I found, and when I test it, it works from time to time. And that is to make the words you want to stress capital letters. So let me show you. For example, let's hear this with my voice. Oh, uh, this is unbelievable. I never thought you would do something like this. <laughs> this is already quite dramatic. But for example, I wanted to stress this unbelievable. So we can do this. This is unbelievable. I never thought you would do something like this. Yeah, you see, it focuses more on unbelievable. This is also another technique if you want AI to understand which words you wanted to focus on. Let's hear an angry version of Ting when she knows that you haven't subscribed yet. What do you mean you haven't subscribed yet? This is unacceptable. Hit that button right now. Okay, and what if we wanted to focus on unacceptable? Oh, what do you mean you haven't subscribed yet? This is unacceptable. Hit that button right now. 
You see, there's more emotions here. This doesn't always work, but when it works, it works really well. So apart from what we just saw in the prompting, like adding text, like she said angrily, or adding like capital letters, you can always play with the settings. So for me, the sweet spot for stability is between 25 to 50. So the less stability you have, the more variety it will add. So sometimes if you want more emotion, this can help to like lower the stability a little bit. But then when you lower it too much, sometimes it just sounds a little bit crazy. And for similarity, I always keep it around 70 to 90. Lower than that, then it would start to sound not like your voice, if you're using your voice, of course. And the last tip I have for you is don't try to generate a big chunk of text on just one go. You can work on your script and separate them into like smaller sections and generate them this way. I find that you have more control and you have better results if you do it this way. And finally, I made a little cheat sheet here that you can screenshot. This basically summarized everything I just talked about for you to get the best results when you're generating your voice in 11 Labs. And while you do this, you can also move your fingers or your mouse to here and hit on that subscribe button. This only takes one second, but this helped me so much as a creator. And if you want to learn how to clone your voice using 11 Labs, I also made a step-by-step -step video to guide you through the whole process. So what are you waiting for? Click on this video now to watch it, and I will see you there.